Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV. You're watching TFB TV Gunfest 2021. This is your coverage for all of your favorite manufacturers, new products for 2021. I'm here at BT USA, and I'm not sure that they're going to be able to handle this one. You like that, guys? John and Mike, we go. John and I go way back with BT. Mike and I, we're, we're new friends, and we're here to talk about the handle. I, I don't even know what you guys are, are going to call it. I mean, just, you know what? I'm going to shut up. Go ahead, John. Boy, James. I mean, <laughs> we've covered so much exciting stuff. Suppressors, the Station 69, and now very excited about our new partnership with the German company, Hanel. If the rifle looks familiar or the name Hanel sounds familiar, Hanel is a German company that recently won the German Army rifle contract. Here we are with a great, with a great product, joint partnership, with B&T and Hanel and Mike, could you go over the sure. great features of this gun? They're going to come in as uh, uh, pistols, so obviously this is an SBR variant. It comes standard AMBI selectors, and if you notice, hammers down. Right. Put it on safe. Very cool. Yep. Yep. Uh, oversized uh, bolt catch release. Nice positive grip there. Chrome bolt carrier. We'll go ahead and break this down since I know you want to look inside. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Bear with me. This is brand spanking yeah, new. Yeah, so, just came in the door yep. like an hour ago, yep. right? So, nice chrome uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, bolt carrier. One yeah. unique feature of this is it has a uh, quick detach uh, rail. So, we'll pull this off again. Bear with me. There we go. My hands are covered in gun grease here. Yeah, so, sure. oh, shit. rail comes off. And one thing I want to mention about the rail. Uh, uh, our versions will have M lock, not key mod. So just pretend this is M lock. Yeah, sure. Oh, gotcha. Okay. This is a very interesting barrel taper here. Yes. A barrel taper done right. Yeah. You know? It's not your typical, it's a thicker profile, but also tapered towards the muzzle. So it's not a, you're, you're not saddled with the weight of a, I need a heavy barrel, you know, SOCOM, right. you know, quote, SOCOM type barrel mm -hmm. uh, variant where you're, you're getting punished with the weight. Or even is, worse, like M4 cuts when you've exactly. got everything yep. that you would need M4 cuts like uh, under your handguard yep. anyways. Yep. It is, it is very well balanced. And as you notice, there is no gas tube. In short stroke gas sure. piston, you know, op rod, your pistons up front. Um, Again, really optimized. Nothing wrong with DI guns, they're great, but once you start getting the barrel shorter, and especially mm -hmm. running suppressed, you start having problems. Sure. You know, increased uh, gas pressure, blowback, all that stuff. Uh, with short trail gas piston systems, you don't have that problem. Right. It, same similar system is on our APC uh, line of rifles. Okay. You know, and, again, and, short stroke. And of course, you don't have to sell me on that yep. because I mean, I, I'm a huge proponent of yep. short stroke piston yep. systems. So runs cleaner, uh, runs yeah. well short barrel, runs well suppressed short barrel. They're, you know, it's. Uh, again, military grade. So. Any uh, user adjustment, or is it all going to be like self-adjusting? Self-adjusting. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, it just it self-regulates, and that's the beauty of it. You know, dirtier it gets, more gas is gonna gonna throw back in there. You know, some of the other features, obviously, uh, flared magwell, and it'll it'll accept you know P mags. It's not your your right. your very strict stan ag you know straight magazine well. Or we won't go into yeah, that, but yeah. you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. Um, free, for, uh, free float rail again, M lock, not uh, key mod. Uh, and you see the index point up top, so it's uh, very tight where you can, uh, you know, lasers will hold zero. You're not gonna worry about any kind of wandering, wandering zero. It, it's a, you know, for all intents and purposes, a uh, mono upper because of the tight fitment. So this is obviously very exciting stuff. You have a crowded market, right, in the AR market, but when you have something that it's, it's adopted by a foreign government, this is gonna be 100% German gun as it comes in. So this is a little bit more exciting to me than, you know, somebody like cooking up some kind of rifle, you know, it's like with no adoption, no standardization whatsoever. So that of course raises the question, when can I get it? What what do you even you, call it? You always ask those questions. Yeah, yeah. yeah hey, yeah. look, I mean, it's most important. When can I get it and how much does it cost? Two most important show questions. John knows that. But what even is it going to be called? We're calling this the B&T 15. Simple, right? Everybody understands sure. it exactly as as we say it. Mm -hmm. They should be available starting April, and we're looking at an MSRP of $3,400. Okay, yeah, so in line with what you would find most premium, high-end, more complex operating system, yes. like with a short strip piston. Yep. That does not shock me. Um, I, I figured it'd be around three, it's gonna be pricey, but we all knew that going into it, right? 
All right, guys, really exciting stuff. I'm going to go home, check my couch, see what kind of pocket change I have. I'm going to be saving <laughs> it up for whenever these things drop. Guys, stay tuned for TFB TV GunFest. We got more coverage from GunFest 2021. Your favorite manufacturers, their new products for the new year. Stay tuned. We'll be bringing you more. Take care.